to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you a list of the best bags that each designer brand has to offer. So if you are curious to see if you have the IT bag from that brand, then please keep on watching. So obviously I had to start with Chanel as it's my favorite brand. And here really no surprise, the best bag from them is the Chanel Classic Flap in size either medium or small. And then preferably also in caviar leather. So I actually own a few of them. This is the Chanel Medium Classic Flap in this beautiful Tiffany blue color with the caviar leather and then the champagne gold hardware. I think that these are the best investment bags that you can find. And I think that a really good way to tell if it is the best bag from the brand is to look at the price. This is actually the most expensive bag that Chanel carries currently. Um, these babies retail for $8,800 plus tax. And if we also look at the resale value of these, they resell for a lot more than what you pay for them in the store. So that makes them really the best bag from the brand. So next up we have Hermes. And here this is a brand that I actually don't own any handbags from, especially not the one that I'm going to talk to you about. So I will include a picture either here or here. And obviously the best bag from Hermes is the Hermes Birkin. And I think that the most desirable sizes currently are either size 30 or 25. So we're looking at like smaller handbags, not tiny, but just a little bit smaller than say 35 or 40. And also preferably an Epsom leather, which is the most resistant type of leather that Hermes makes. And I think that here a good way to find out whether or not it is the most desirable bag. It is one of the bags that is the hardest to get. So here it's not just a matter of the price. Obviously there is that factor as well but it's also a matter of how hard to get is it. This is one of the bags that's the hardest to get, especially in the smaller sizes, say 25 for example, is so trendy right now. And when you look at the resale prices, it's absolutely ridiculous. We're like north of 25K, sometimes even $30,000 for a bag that in the store retails for like, you know, depending on obviously the um, leather and then the color combination and everything, but you know, we're looking around like 17,000. Um, in this price range and we're just adding 10,000 for the resale value so that obviously makes it the best bag from Hermes. So the next brand is Dior and here the it bag or the most desirable bag is the Lady Dior. It is the true classic from the brand. It's kind of like the bag that the brand is famous for and the sizes that are most desirable are either size small or medium. It's actually a bag that I am thinking of acquiring. By the way, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you have this handbag, if this is something that you would recommend. Um, also, let me know if you think that it would fit nicely in my designer bag collection. By the way, I recently um, released a video about my entire designer bag collection. So if you are curious um, to see the bags that I already have, then I will go ahead and leave that video in the little information link over here for you to see it. I think that it's something that would be a nice addition to my collection. I currently only have one Dior bag and it's a Dior book tote. So it's like, you know, a tote bag, something super different. And I think that the Lady Dior is really here to stay. It is an investment piece. And it's something that I would really like to have in my collection as it's the most desirable bag from that brand. The next brand that I'm going to talk to you about is Chloe. And here the it bag, the best bag that I could find from them is called the Chloe Woody Tote and the sizes that are the best or either small or medium. I think that this is an amazing tote bag for summer. It's very cute. It's very kind of refreshing. It's obviously super, super trendy this year. And I think that depending on the size that you get, you really have a different vibe and a different usage of the bag. So if you get a size medium, it is a tote bag. It's something that you can use for the beach, for traveling, as a diaper bag, etc., etc. Um, but then if you get the small one, what's really nice about it is that it comes with a strap. So you have the option of wearing it crossbody on like days out and about in the city, you know, something like a casual little vibe to it. 
that I think looks super duper cute. So this, in my opinion, is the best bag that's currently out from Chloe. Next up, we have Yves Saint Laurent, and here the most desirable bag from them, in my opinion, is the Yves Saint Laurent Lulu bag. There are so many different sizes available. I think the toy one is really one of the cutest and best ones. It's something very, very unique. Personally, it wouldn't fit my body frame, so that's why it's not in my collection yet, and it probably never will be. But if you are petite, I think this is one of the cutest bags that there are out there right now. It's also a brand that has an amazing quality, um, an amazing value for your money. I think that, you know, unlike Chanel, when you really have to spend like a ton of money to get something nice, um, this isn't the case for Yves Saint Laurent. And it's also a brand that, you know, really stands the test of time. Um, so the items really kind of last a long time. And so I think that this is a bag that's really here to stay. It's really cute. It's got a different vibe to it that you can't really find in other brands. And I think that for that reason, it is the best bag that they have out currently. The next brand is going to be Louis Vuitton. And here, the best bag, in my opinion, is the Louis Vuitton Capucine in either size BB or MM. I think that both sizes are really amazing. And what I really like about this bag is the classy slash timeless vibe to it. It's very different from the other bags that they carry. I think that most bags now from LV have this kind of like sporty vibe to it that I really, really don't like. Uh, for example, if we think of the um, multi pochette or something, it's super like not classy, honestly. It's just not classy. And so for that reason, in my mind, those bags are really not here to stay. Whereas if we look at the Capucine, it's something that is super, you know, timeless. Um, and then also the price is a deciding factor here. It is, I believe, one of the most expensive handbags that they carry. Um, if we don't look at like travel things and etc. But in terms of handbags, I believe it is one of the most expensive ones. And so kind of similar to um, the classic flap for Chanel. That's also one of the reasons why um, it is, you know, the most desirable one because of not only the price, but also the resale value. If you were to look at like fashion file, the real real, etc, etc, looking for a capucine, you couldn't find one for at least under like, you know, five or six thousand. So that makes it in my mind the best bag from Louis Vuitton. The next brand is Prada and here the best bag in my opinion is the Prada Re-Edition 2005 nylon bag. I would say preferably in black. I think that this bag is really, really cute and it kind of revived the brand a little bit. Uh, it seemed to me that, you know, beforehand, before this bag came out, it was a little bit of a dead brand, so to speak. Um, it was kind of a brand that had fallen into forgetfulness, that had kind of um, fallen out of style, out of trend, that was no longer really, you know, um, in the top of the designer brands. And so after releasing this bag, I think that they were really able to change um, their direction. This bag is also fairly reasonably priced, which is quite nice. And it's got a specific like vintage vibe to it. So personally, I have to say that it's not my style. That's why it's not in my collection yet and likely never will be. But I think that if it is your style, it is a very, very good option. It's a very good investment. It is something that's here to stay. And I think that for that reason, and also because it was able to revive the brand, it makes it the best bag from Prada. After that, we have Bottega Veneta. And this is honestly a brand that I really don't like, but I still feel like I had to mention it because obviously it exists. It's not because I don't like it that it doesn't exist. It's actually a brand that I did mention in the five designer brands that I would never buy from. By the way, if you are interested in hearing why and also interested in finding out what are the other brands that I would not buy from, then I will go ahead and leave the link to that video in the little information link over here for you to see it. And I do believe that the best bag from them is the padded cassette. I think that it's got a very unique style to it um, and it is also one of the most expensive ones. Um, it's a bag that exists in a variety of colors. I think this is kind of their main thing. Uh, obviously, you know, they have like black and beige and very basic colors, but they have a lot of these like very flashy, very kind of like loud colors, like um, medium green, medium blue, um, all these colors that are like super strong in your face. And that's kind of why I don't like that. 
um, but I would say in my opinion it is the it bag from the brand currently I don't think that it will last I think that it's going to be just a trend but currently in my opinion that's the best bag from them next up we have Balenciaga and here I think that one of their best bags is called hourglass bag preferably I would say in size small and in black um, and here the reason why I chose this bag as their best bag is it is a bag that kind of made me change my mind about the brand so prior to seeing this bag which is now you know the current it bag it's on trend everything everything I think that prior to seeing this bag this was kind of also a brand that I thought was dead um, you know they had this like super popular bag like back when I was in high school aka forever ago and then that was kind of it you know in my mind and after seeing this bag I kind of started to rethink the image of the brand I kind of started to be like hmm well this is kind of nice you know it adds a little bit of um, classy feel I think that I hadn't seen from the brand before I think you know the main things that were popular from them were the handbag that I was talking about and then the shoes the super big sneakers that are <clears throat> basically the opposite of classy so that really made me change my opinion about the brand um, and I think that it is something that is here to stay and in my mind one of their best handbag options right now and lastly we have Celine and here I actually have two options because I honestly couldn't decide so let's start with perhaps the it bag the bag that is popular currently I would say that it is the Ava bag um, in color tan so it is a it bag and it is something that's super popular but honestly I really don't think that it's going to last and this is why I would be reluctant to invest my money in it usually I try to kind of steer clear from trends because I think that in the long term they won't pay off um, I think that if you want to buy them you must be quick about reselling them before they kind of like fall out of style otherwise you're stuck with a bag that you know is has fallen out of style and I think that this is what will happen with the Ava bag but currently uh, right now it is probably one of the most desirable bags from Céline it kind of mirrors the Prada re-edition a little bit um, it has the same like vintage vibes to it otherwise I would say that the best overall option um, from Céline in my mind is the Céline belt bag I think that this has something that's been here for a long time but it is something that's also very unique to them it's not something that I've seen in other designer brands whatsoever and I think that it is a brand that is both you know classy functional has kind of like checks off all of the boxes that I would be looking for in the bag but still kind of similar to the Ava bag um, I think that here it's a problem of would this really be a bag that I would carry I think that I would be a little bit concerned about buying a bag and not wearing it um, I think that's why I actually haven't really pulled the trigger um, also because I know that it perhaps to some people may be considered as having fallen out of style personally not for me I think that it's still really good looking and it's still like really beautiful and I would still like to have one but I'm assuming that for some people that might be the case but for me um, aside from the Ava one which is you know the it bag I think that this one is the best overall from Céline so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it was also somewhat informational for you in case you were looking at acquiring any of these bags as you may have seen I actually only have one <laughs> um, and it's from Chanel it's the Chanel classic flap the rest I um, either don't have the brand at all or don't have the it bag from the brand so if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one